Hi everyone, welcome to AP Psychology Unit 1, Scientific Foundations of Psychology. My name is Shrey Gupta from Medporium. Let's talk early psychology, which dates back to the ancient Greeks, specifically Socrates and Plato, who believed that all knowledge was innate, nothing could be learned. Basically, you were born with all the knowledge you needed to survive. Later, Aristotle came along, and he believed that humans could learn information from their environment. This belief challenged Socrates and Plato. So these ideas and these concepts gave way to Rene Descartes' discovery, which was that mind and body interact. The body gives the mind sensory information to interpret. Later on, John Locke had his realization of tabula rasa, which means blank slate. Basically, he hypothesized that all knowledge is learned. The mind is like a blank slate when you're born. So now let's look at the development of the other schools of thought. Starting off with Charles Darwin, who developed the theory of natural selection and developed the evolutionary perspective. Basically, the evolutionary perspective views the mind as a product of evolution, meaning that each structure provides a function for either survival or reproduction. A couple years later, we had Wilhelm Wundt, who was the founder of the science of psychology. He opened the first psychology lab to study consciousness in Leipzig, Germany in 1879. He wanted to study the mind scientifically using the same methods used to study the body. He is often considered the father of psychology. Later on, Edward Titchener came along. Edward was a student of Wundt who sought to identify the smallest structures of the mind because he believed that understanding the smallest structures would lead to a greater overall understanding of the mind. He founded the perspective known as structuralism, which relied heavily on introspection, which was self-recalled accounts and exp of experiences. However, introspection was highly unreliable because accounts were often false. In the meantime, there was a man named William James, an American psychologist who opposed the structuralist approach. He decided that the function of parts of the mind was more important than the structure, and he was the founder of the perspective known as functionalism. He also wrote the first psychology textbook. Other important figures in psychology, starting off with Mary Whiten Calkins. She was a student of William James. She was also the first female psychology graduate, but she was denied her PhD because of her gender. However, she went on to become the first female president of the American Psychological Association, otherwise known as the APA. The next important figure is Margaret Floyd Washburn. She was the first female PhD in psychology and went on to become the second female president of the APA. Last but not least, we have G. Stanley Hall, who was a student of Wundt, who brought the science of psychology to America by founding the first American psychology lab at Johns Hopkins University. Now, remember, in this video, it was just kind of a broad discussion of the figures that influenced the perspectives of psychology, but we will be covering each perspective in depth in the following video. Thank you for watching.